Space is a vast and primarily unknown frontier, and there is still much to learn about the cosmos and our position in it. Space research may help us understand the formation and development of galaxies, stars, and planets, and the nature of dark matter and energy. Detecting radio signals from space is a complicated operation requiring rigorous examination to establish their origin and significance. A strange signal may be a technological error or interference from terrestrial sources in certain circumstances. Notwithstanding, scientists at NASA claimed to have received strange radio signals from mysterious objects in space. So stay tuned as we delve deeper into discovering what this could be and its impacts on life on Earth. Nearly 3 billion light years from Earth, astronomers have discovered a strange radio signal coming from another galaxy. This is the second time researchers have discovered a signal like this. FRBs are brilliant, intense radio wave emissions that last from a fraction of a millisecond to a few milliseconds and produce energy comparable to the Sun's yearly output. The first FRB was found in 2007 by Duncan Lorimer and his student, David Narkovich, while going through archive pulsar survey data. It is now known as the Lorimer Burst. Numerous FRBs have been reported since then, including many that recur in strange ways. One FRB has been found to repeat itself regularly. FRB 180916 seems to pulse every 16.35 days. FRB 20190520B, a brand new fart radio burst or FRB, was discovered by scientists. The findings were reported in the scientific journal Nature. The researchers noted that the signal was co-located with a compact persistent radio source and associated with a dwarf host galaxy of high specific star formation. The 500-meter aperture spherical radio telescope, FAST, in Guizhou, China, picked up the first FRB in 2019. Additional observations made over a five-month period in 2020 added nearly 75 more FRBs. The Carl G. Jansky Very Large Array of the U.S. National Science Foundation was then used to locate the signal. According to observations, the emitting object produced smaller, weaker radio bursts between the FRBs. These characteristics indicate that the signal from FRB 20190520b is strikingly similar to the first FRB, FRB 12110, discovered in 2016. Although scientists are unsure of the exact cause of FRBs, they have proposed the idea that young FRBs emit signals because they are still surrounded by dense material ejected by the supernova explosion that left behind the neutron star. As FRBs age, it is predicted that the signals will gradually wane. New discoveries are being made monthly in the FRB field, which is advancing quickly. Radio transmissions have been reaching Earth for years from unknown origins. Astronomers have located five rapid radio bursts, also known as FRBs, or deep space signals, using NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. These intense explosions produce as much energy in a thousandth of a second as the Sun does in a year. Since the first one was found in 2001, some 1,000 FRBs have been found. But they are famously hard to monitor, since they vanish instantly and leave no trace. Only 15 of these have been located in certain galaxies. The discovery and characterization of FRB 121102, one of the three recurring sources in 2012, have increased our knowledge of the source class. FRB 121102 is associated with a galaxy located around 3 billion light years away and is entrenched in a harsh environment. The first non-repeating burst host galaxy, FRB 180924, was discovered in 2019 and is a significantly more prominent and more ordinary galaxy, approximately the size of the Milky Way. Astronomers discovered eight additional recurring FRB signals in August 2019. Astronomers revealed the exact position of a second repeated burst, FRB 180916, in January 2020. One FRB seems to have occurred near a known gamma ray burst. Scientists are interested in monitoring their origin to identify the kind of cosmic events that cause these powerful pulses. The study of FRBs is an intriguing and fast emerging area with the potential to provide new insights into the cosmos. Astronomers and scientists are motivated by a desire to better comprehend the world around them and to create new discoveries that expand our understanding. 
Scientists are particularly interested in FRBs because they represent a novel and poorly understood occurrence in the cosmos. These brief, intense bursts of radio waves are supposed to come from faraway galaxies. Still, their specific source and nature are unknown. FRB research might offer light on some of the astronomy's most basic mysteries, such as the nature of neutron stars, black holes, and the intergalactic medium. Scientists have located some of these beginnings, and what they discovered startled them. More than 15 years after rapid radio bursts were discovered, new research has explained and deepened their origins enigma. They used Hubble's Wide Field Camera 3 to identify the host galaxies of five out of eight recent FRBs and the sorts of sources they came from. The spiral arms where stars are formed are characteristic of these far-off galaxies. Lead author Alexandra Mannings remarked, Our discoveries are novel and exciting. This is the first high-resolution glimpse of a population of FRBs. Hubble indicates that five are located close to a galaxy's spiral arms. The imaging allows us to better understand the host galaxy's overall properties, such as its mass and star formation rates, and probe what is happening right at the FRB position because Hubble has such excellent resolution. The majority of the galaxies are massive, relatively young, and still forming stars. As a result of the variations in the star distribution, some of the arm formations were more tightly wrapped than others. This means the FRBs are unlikely to originate from the most massive young stars in the galaxies. Scientists believe neither the merging of neutron stars nor the explosive deaths of these young stars are the probable causes of the flares. Also, they are not from dwarf galaxies, which researchers previously failed to rule out as a potential source. With each new finding, astronomers are reducing the range of possible explanations for these enigmatic signals. Wen Fai Fong, a team member, stated, We don't know what causes FRBs, so it's vitally crucial to utilize context when we have it. Hubble also played a significant part in those investigations, which found that this approach was highly effective for locating the origins of other forms of transients, such as gamma ray bursts and supernovae. The research team's results are consistent with the hypothesis that youthful magnetars, a kind of neutron star with strong magnetic fields, are the source of FRBs. They are 10 trillion times stronger than a refrigerator door magnet. Scientists call them the strongest magnets in the universe. Fong adds that magnetars are highly unexpected because of their strong magnetic fields. Massive stars undergo stellar evolution to become neutron stars. Some may be heavily magnetized, causing flares and magnetic processes on their surfaces, which can produce radio waves. Therefore, the FRBs are assumed to originate from flares from a juvenile magnetar. Scientists are seeing galaxies as when the cosmos was about half its present age, since the galaxies recorded in the research lived billions of years ago. Several of them have a mass comparable to the Milky Way, another kind of spiral galaxy. The distance of each galaxy from Earth is 400 million to 9 billion light years. Other possibilities include FRBs originating from neighboring star flares. In 2022, an FRB with many periodic component peaks lasting more than three seconds was observed. This FRB's genesis has been hypothesized as a neutron star. As we rightly mentioned, detecting radio signals from space is a complicated operation requiring rigorous examination. Many more questions remain unanswered, although research is still ongoing. We will update you as we gather more information on the strange radio signals from mysterious objects in space. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.